Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. Welcome to this, the first episode of BP Play. That's B as in Brian, me, and P as in Paul, him. A.K.A. Lop, or Poi. Indeed. And our th idea along these lines is to play numerous games in cooperative Let's Plays. Um, and so we're going to start off on the classic Sega Mega Drive with a game that came out in 1992, December 1992, in an almost simultaneous World Ride release. This is an absolutely classic co-op experience, and it is... World of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. Developed by Sega, uh, specifically Sega's AM7 team, also known as Team Shinobi, that were behind many other classic games of the time, such as Alex Kidd, uh, the console ports of Alien Storm and Golden Axe, Fantasy Star, Streets of Rage, and of course, as the name would suggest, Shinobi. We have pressed start, we're just letting the uh, story sequence go on. Uh, so yes, this is the sequel to Castle of Illusion, so this is somewhat topical because the remake for that game is due to be released uh, well, sometime during summer or autumn, uh, but we don't actually have an exact release date yet. I will in fact be doing a let's play, well, an, not, no, not let's play, I do not use that term, an extensive playthrough of Castle of Illusion itself before the new one comes out, and I might do one of the new game as well. So actually, uh, with the release of, well, with the upcoming release of the Castle of Illusion remake, we've actually just recently found out the name of the person who actually made this um, classic series of Disney games for Sega. Um, they were only known by a pseudonym of Emerin for many, many years. In fact, if you ever watch the credits of these games, they are full of pseudonyms. Which is somewhat unfortunate because it would be nice to give people credit. But we now know the director of Castle of Illusion, uh, Quackshot, This World of Illusion, basically all the Disney Mega Drive games, was Emiko Yamamoto, who is in fact an employee of Sega of Japan, obviously, but also works with um, Disney of Japan, and she is in fact a lady. She also worked on Kingdom Hearts, so it's uh, she's got a quite impressive repertoire actually. Although that said, Sonic Riders is, is on that list as well, and that's... Uh, anyway. So, me and Paul first played this game back in... It will be 1993. I, I don't know, you might have gotten this for Christmas 92, or... Yeah, I think so, yeah. So you probably got it just as it yeah. came out, but first time we played it together was in 93, which will mark actually 20 years ago exactly, and that's one of the reasons why this is going to be our very first... BP play. Quite simply, I've swatched these around here. We see, we'll do it classic style, which means Paul will be Mickey Mouse and I will be Donald Duck because it was played on his Mega Drive and his copy of the game. I was over at his house, and that's just the rules. Player two is the guest. Right on. So that's selected, and off we go. Let's do this. A marvellous start. You see, that's just exactly like it was 20 years ago. <laughs> uh, I'm suspecting that's going to be happening a lot. So to talk a bit more about the game itself, this was quite possibly one of the first proper co-op games. I mean, obviously we're going to have to exclude the likes of Contra. Oh yeah. <laughs> Contra and many other sort of um, shoot up games, but this was. There's games where you work together, and then there's games where you really work together. And this would probably be, you know, the latter. And as you can see now, with these are probably co op mechanics. You cannot progress on your own. The game is actually. Oops, sorry, that's me. <laughs> Talking away. The game depends in its co op mode on being played co op. It's, it's completely different layouts for many levels. Normally you play the single player, there are separate logs on the seesaws and they will watch 
uh, transport you up. But they're gone in co-op and you have to do this teamwork. I Yoink. could have done with the sweets. <laughs> Sorry. He's not. He really isn't. Anyway, we're climbing up now. There we go. Ooh, some slowdown. At this point, I will say that uh, this game is being emulated on Kega Fusion. And the reason for that is actually quite simple. I, mean, we, I do still have my original Mega Drive, as you've seen, and we do still have Paul's Mega Drive cart. The reason for emulating is quite simply that with the Mega Drive, the only options we have are RF Aerial or RGB SCART. And SCART's actually a pretty good picture, but I don't have any way of capturing the image onto the PC. I don't actually know the co-op mechanic here. I will get hurt. I know I'll get hurt every single time. Every time. Ugh. Yes, uh, so... With those being the only recording options, there's no way to get good quality footage. Ugh. So, uh, yes, emulated it is, which also gives us the benefit of being able to use... Oh, you've gone too far ahead. We've missed. Look at that. Sorry. Sorry. Yes, so we've missed the opportunity. With the emulator, it's given us the opportunity to use some graphical filters. And also, we were able to play it with, I would say, Xbox 360 controllers, but actually we're using two Xbox 360 base controllers, which in Paul's case is the Mad Cat's Street Fighter 4 controller. Right on. And in my case is the PHP Fight Stick controller. So that means both are actually dominated by nice big D-pads and... The buttons are actually in the Mega Drive layout, the six-button Mega Drive layout, which it's about as authentic as you can get, really. So a Mega Drive controller, but it's more comfortable. <laughs> oh, goodness, first bit of teamwork. I remember this bit. Oh, yeah, so this isn't in the single-player bit at all, so down on the D-pad we go. Oh my, I wasn't the one who got hurt! Woo. Right, we've got to remember out then, so... Don't press down too automatically. Never mind, you will anyway. <laughs> oh, that was almost timed perfectly! <laughs> that was not intentional, I swear. Oh god, now we do have to do it fast. Right, I'm going to take my time on the downs now. Way we're avoiding falling rocks. I think that is right. the first time we've ever done that in the history of ever playing this game. Sweet is mine. It is kind of weird going back to these old games. It's surprising how many things you actually remember. Or at least for me, I'm maybe I've just got a memory for video games. Oh. Now that is justice. There is justice in the world. <laughs> Does it not bring you back life straight away? I think near the end of the level. Alright, sure. I actually have to progress on my own now, so there's a real emphasis on not dying. Because if you do, it becomes a single player game for a while. I imagine if there are any dedicated co op sections, it would make you, um, you know, it would respawn you. Otherwise, we'd have found a major game for. Mm. This spider bit always reminds me of Super Mario World. Um, in the f forts and castles, you would often have to go on these clicky blocks that would leave a path. But this is a lot shorter and a lot easier. I'll give some credit here. I mean, um, there he is. Whoops, I screwed that up. Uh, just playing this game something to appreciate for the 16-bit era is just how much is going on in the graphics. I mean, if you look at the characters, they've got idle animations. The fact they've got lots of animation frames, but also even the background, there's always something moving. Whether it be like those, you know, jewels sparkling, there's always something. And that's, um, it wasn't such a big deal in 1992, but it was the same in Castle of Illusion, and when that came out, it really was a pretty big deal. And there we go, first boss beaten. 
Donald looking as happy as ever. Inside the chest there is an ancient manuscript describing great magic. I think that said magic, I didn't get the chance to read the whole line. Sorry. Right. <laughs> oh, Alakazam. Ba-dum, ba-dum. Ooh, seeing as I've started humming along, this is a point to mention the music, quite possibly. I'm on the back, which means I control the magic carpet. So you see, it does make sure that player two does get their own things to do. Magic carpet is controlled with the D-pad and tapping C until the wind takes over certain parts. Uh, we have no attacks on the... Ooh, magic carpet. There's items. Ah, oh, there we go. There's some items. You know what the... Oops, sorry. <laughs> you know what the cards actually do? Oh, sweet. Now, even though uh, you're on the front of the magic carpet, I'm the one who's getting the sweets there. Hmm. <laughs> I've got full health. So, yes, this game actually has... Sorry. Actually has separate modes in co-op and single player, as in, depending which character you are, because you've got the choice of Mickey and Donald in single player, or playing co-op, you do get unique levels. Some are sh uh, shared, but this section here is completely unique to co-op. I think if you're playing single player with Mickey Mouse, it's uh, like night time or something, and there's lightning and thunder coming down, and whoa! Yes, I was going to talk about the music. As with a lot of Mega Drive games, but especially some of these, particularly in the Disney ones, that did an exceptional job with the music, given the uh, given the li extreme limitations of what the Mega Drive could do. Compared to the Super Nintendo, the Mega Drive was vastly inferior on a hardware level. But used right, some games actually really did come out very well indeed. Uh, this being one of them. Do those have... They've got animated butts. They've got animated asses. Right on. They've got blooming plucked chicken asses. At least I think that's what it is. Actually, it, no, no, it is. It is an arse complete with an arse crack. Oh, Sega. Sega Japan. For you, ladies and gentlemen. I was talking about music, <laughs> yet again. The composers of this game were, I'll probably butcher these Japanese names, but uh, Haru Oguru, who was known as Lottie, and Tomoko Sasaki, who was known as Maguru. And yes, I am reading that off a page of information. It's just a small A4 sheet with about seven bullet points on, and I think I've now read through all of them. What on earth? We found a glitch. Okay, that is lit that is one mad hat. Uh, can I get actually past him without getting hurt? Yay! <laughs> okay, freaked out just a bit. It's just as well this game doesn't have running jumps because the um, on the Mega Drive layout the run button, which is A, is about as far away from the jump button, which is C, as you can get can do a running jump, but you have to adopt the claw control hold. Oh my god! The con uh, Yes, the claw control hold, which you might be familiar with from Halo and other first-person shooters. We are very cooperative here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we're both dropping. I thought I'd be on top of your shoulders. Arms. Oh, I remember this one. Well, that is the most pointless cloud in history. It does nothing. Whoa! Oh my goodness, I nearly lost it there. Alright, the cloud won't actually go poof until we both stand on it. Ah! Oh. Ooh, bloody hell. Yeah. Whoa! One of the things with the control is you can't adjust your fall normally, but if you use your attack, you can't. You lose that ability. So, precision platforming, pla 
precision platforming while doing an attack is not an option. Uh, I do seem... Donald does seem to be the whipping boy. Ah! Whoa, bombs all over the place. See major. He is a musician, if you didn't know. Oh, let's see if I actually find a sweet... Oh my god! Can I get sweeties? Sweet! Ah, I missed it! Extra... Oh, sigh. Oh, I sigh so much. Try to rub bloody salt in the wounds there. Oh, boss time already. This bit actually reminds me of one of the levels in Castle of Illusion. I get the feeling this boss is much easier in co-op than it is in single player. Oh dear, this just looks embarrassing. God, Donald's miserable in this game. Uh, I think that uh, dragon design was based on... Pete's dragon? Yeah, I think yeah. that's what I was thinking. Uh, ooh, inside the chest, there is an ancient manuscript describing great magic. If you say the word mag... If you say the magic word, Alakazam, which is what we already said before. Alright, so magic bubble. Which means we have an underwater level. I really enjoyed this music. It's very trippy and ambient. You chased by a tiger fish. Sorry. Right. Hey, what if anyone knows a tropical fish? We'll say that was a tiger barb. Nasty little buggers then. I'm pretty sure the controls said to move up hold C, but it's definitely a tap. Uh, stay up, stay up, stay up. There we go. Oof. It's quite a nice uh, wavy effect going on in the background there. But there might be items this way. Or actually, it might just be the level that way. Go up, Donald. He's a bloody duck, why does he need an air bubble? <laughs> well, he needs one to breathe, obviously, but he should be able to swim. I mean, look at those webbed feet completely going to waste. Wait, bubbles, clam. Uh, that'll probably be so sweet, yes it is. Whoa, avoid the urchins. I've got a hunch we should look the other ways first. Oh. This is looking like we're progressing through the level. Oh well. Indeed, that's what. Whoa, he's going down now. And so that was all nice and peaceful. Oh, look at the goldfish with lipstick. Creepy. Oh look, Donald's fat ass is stuck. And cave in! Oh, that's a slowdown. <laughs> Too many sprites for the Mega Drive to handle. On. Let me... There we go. Ooh, full health. Lovely. Lovely jabbery. Oh, shut sure. up. Oh, there we go. I'm guessing there might be a secret up here. So we'll probably have to go along that bottom to proceed. Oh, that is one scary lobster. 
Or uh, could be a lobster, could be one giant prawn. Either way, it turns into a little prawn. Wow! Bloody respawning enemies. Run! Well, that. Uh, oh, oh, it stopped already. Whoa! I thought I was you for a second there. <laughs> you know, it's one thing to get confused in. Uh, I can't jump on you when you're ducking. There you go. It's one thing to get confused in uh, some co op games where two characters are exactly the same, but if you confuse Mickey and Donald, you've got problems. So evidently, I've got problems. Which I think anyone who knows me could, in fact, tell you. Shell car. Now you see Donald Smart, he's ducking. Mickey's just standing there, <laughs> whacking through these columns in the face. <laughs> it's a long, long run while the ceiling's coming down. More goldfish with lipstick. What are Disney telling us to do? Ooh, creepy music. Wait for Donald. You evil son of a... How did you get hurt there? I, I, I didn't press B. Oh man, distractions now. You see, it, it all, one little thing and you just lose so much health. I thought that was an enemy there. For right on. Uh, oh. oh. I don't... I think there's a trick. To, some of these won't fall until you go past, and some of them will fall as soon as you go near them. There you go. Sawfish! Ouch! Uh. No, it's mine. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. Ah, you, yes, that. It was a good job I got that sweet. Ah! Uh, I am running before I should. Oh, a bit of a turbo moment there. Doing quite well in this. I don't. I think we've only had you die once. That's been it. Yeah. <laughs> what? Is it just me, or does my cape just not do a bloody thing? Hmm. God, boss time again already. Ooh, is that a suspicious looking fin? Oh, man. I'm a bit tired, I must apologize. Shock! Oh no, you. That was the worst possible time for you to stun me. Oh. I got away with that one somehow. Oh. It's going up. Oh no, I've died! Well, that was some epic teamwork, and <laughs> we did very well on that boss. I'm being incredibly sarcastic, you know. This is possibly one of the problems of the game, is that um, it is actually quite easy. Wait. Hang on. Um, that world we just came off shrank, but that goldfish is still the same bloody size.
So this, uh, in fact, quite a lot of the levels in World of Illusion are um, just like improved versions from Castle of Illusion, really. Oh. There's always going to be something down here. Mm, by the looks of it, it might not be anything good. Oh, yeah, there was. Ah, oh, you got your just desserts there, matey boy. Oh. That, uh, somebody must be going... Oh, that was just awful by me. Mm, okay, dokie. Ooh, extra life. Ah. Uh. Oh, I guess it's just um. Mm, sorry, I guess it's just certain parts where you don't uh, respawn straight away. Not mm. on the sugar. It's not that bad. It's not that difficult either. It's got to be worth it. There's got to be something in here. I mean, the, sh the sugar doesn't exactly have a very complex pattern here. Oh, we've got a card out of the deal. <laughs> One card. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. Get off me! <laughs> Ooh, Christmas theme. Oh, another enemy that uh, brings back... Uh, <laughs> another enemy that brings back memories of a boss from Castle of Illusion. Hey, you can jump on the heart. I wondered if you could. <laughs> oh, fuck. Actually, I should just be able to... Thank you. Oh no! <laughs> I thought I was being clever. A very foolish thing to think. Whoa! I bet you that one's just a card. Oh no, it's invincibility! On the face of it, invincibility should be great, but um... There's a distinct lack of enemies to use it on. Oh, there's an enemy! Wow. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. I wonder if there's any benefit of going along the top. Ugh. A dice in the face is not a benefit. <laughs> Should that be die? Oh man, I'm doing awful. It's embarrassing. Die, clown. There's a lot of influence from Alice in Wonderland in the designs in this game. At the start, we had the um, caterpillar, which was blatantly straight from it. Those enemies there. We've had the Mad Hatter, of course. You've seen him a few times. Those enemies there seem to be. Um, Tweedledum and Tweedledee in the Disney version. Oh, magic time! I'm a casual. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Putting it fine, putting it fine. Oh, the wonders of the Mega Drive sound sampling. Oh. 
Into the biscuit box. Ah, uh, once again, like Castle of Illusion, we have a sweet-inspired level. Oh, jelly sweets! I love jelly sweets. <laughs> I think that's a nice touch, just sweet them in the gold. Just need some smoke coming out of them. Evil Biscuit, which I think is modelled on. Actually, what it reminds me of is the, um, uh oh, the clock from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> I don't know if that's what the design was based on, it's just what it reminds us with that big face. Jump! Oh, you've got invincibility. Will you find any enemies for it to save you from? One. The Chelgi. Never played. Kids and grown-ups love it so. The happy world of Haribo. Ah, cake. Beautiful cake. The baked good that revives all health. Yes, there was jelly in Castle Illusion as well. Is it boss now, is it? Is it? Oh yes, it's oh. Mad Madam Mim! From Sword in the Sword! Ah! Mim! 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 Not Ming. Ah, Flash Gordon. Oh, Ming, right. Mim. <laughs> I was actually doing the Merlin from... <laughs> Mim? Mim! What the devil's going on here? What is it this time? Oh yes, uh, I think it said command cards. Ooh! Oh! Secret! I'm not gonna get them, I was gonna let you get them, man. No. Right. Come on, I've got full health. Right on. Thank you. See, we're not all evil. Do 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 doom. I was mentioning Alice in Wonderland before, wasn't I? Yeah. Just slightly influenced by it. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> there we get Mad Hatter statues. Trixie, that some of the mushrooms you fall through. Saving you from the evil cart arts. Thank you. <laughs> what the oh fuck? Oh dear. Ooh, extra try. Extra life, rather. The game calls and tries. I'll say it's an extra life. Or a one up. There we go, you're back. That wasn't too bad. Right on. Ooh, I felt like I was going to fall through that one. Oh, wait, number three. Number three. It's always number three. Which is only one away from the door. We've got a ghost jump on it. Yep. Well. Okay, it'll be number. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with number two. Uh, I was having a hunch it might be the one. What the hell? None of them seem to be working. Uh. And that was wrong. But maybe that'll fix whatever the problem was. Oh no, actually this is it, isn't it? No, nope. oh, no, this is the pin and the uh... one. Do you want to fall? No, no, it's fine to fall, it's fine to fall. We'll just come out in the level again, there you go, fine to fall. Number three. Number one. 
Well, four went down all right, and we didn't go anywhere, so... Maybe there's some pretty combination going on. Oh, this is... I don't remember ever seeing this before. Does this look fun? What? Uh, so... Where so do we go? Down. What do we do? I know, what do you do? Oh. Alright. That looked like... Oh, no. What? What just happened? Did we just find a hidden level select or something that's put us back to the beginning of the game? I think this is the court, though. Yeah, but... I don't remember this, if I'm brutally honest. Do we go up or down or what? Well, there is stuff above, so I guess going up. Oy. I like this music, though. Yeah, but I don't know if it's worth a throwback. <laughs> well, actually, it's not the original level, is it? Uh, no, I guess we've got to go down at the bottom. Just chilling with a nice cup of tea. We're not, like, there is no tea, I'm afraid. There is no tea. I'd like a cup of tea, please. Just brew the kettle. <laughs> If I bring the kettle, I could bring the cup of tea. Okay, I guess it was time-based? Try number one. Number one, so you go all the way to the right. I think this is that dragon boss fight. Nope. Maybe we'll get through the whole lot without either of us getting hurt. We're off to a good start. Alright, there's one at the top. I think that's it. <laughs> right, leave it. One more. Oh, this is co-op. Not a scratch. Number two. You keep saying number two. You count. We're English. We count from the left. Japanese. <laughs> oh yes, well it would be yes if we were Japanese that would be considered the second one I suppose. Um so we basically even though this is a let are you controlling now? No, I'm controlling. Sorry. C button to go up up. C button, C button. Yes, yeah, so even though we've already gone through the playthrough, it looks like we're pretty much replaying the entire game for you. I bet you're really thrilled. Uh, well, he's controlling it right now. I'm gonna grab a drink, a mouthful of Pepsi, which is not ideal, but. Ah. but I've been trying to talk for probably close to 40 minutes at this point. I'm gonna be so good if it is the very first door. I'm pressing up. Okay. Oh. What? Are you sure it's up your press? I don't have a clue. <laughs> you just got to hold it for a bit longer. We are literally finding everything in the game except where we need to go. What do we do? <laughs> okay. Watch the dice. Oh no! Watch the great big bloody gap! Dum 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 dum, actually you get it. 
got, uh, you've got less health than me. Oof, that scared me a bit. Oh, you should be. You go first, because he's, if he's half health in. <laughs> Invincibility, of course. I can forget already what was in that. Because I've got a bad memory. Nice again. Not getting me this time. Oof. Oof, dearie me. I really am getting a bit um, confuzzled about this one. Do you think it's going to be on the case where you've got to go through every door and only then it gives you the right one? I think it's one of the doors. I haven't tried the... I haven't tried the first one. It doesn't seem to be opening. Okay. Number two. Oh, number two's this looks, ah, like this looks promising. Yes! Slow down! I can't get her. Ah! Oh, epic matrix skills. Oh man, that's bad. Oh! What the hell? Well, you weren't out of the game for long. It does seem to be the case that I get oh, I get hit by his cape a lot more often than uh, he gets hit by mine. Hit the button. What? Oh, that's some graphical artifact. Oh, effect when uh, Donald does it. Oh, dear me. I don't know what it is about this, uh, this place is doing such a strain on the emulated Mega Drive. Uh, Kiga Fusion is a really good accurate emulator though, so if there's slow down in that, I imagine it's only because there's slow down in the real thing. Oh no, 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 I'm in agony. <laughs> and you're the one that wears bloody shoes as well. Oh. Uh... Oh, I remember this. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so very much. It's all right. Oh, yeah, right. Apologies. Spin on it. with a cup of tea and some rich tea now. Yeah, well, you'll just have a bloody wait. <laughs> to be honest, the dog will need walking once this playthrough's over. Donald Power! Oh, you nasty playing card. Looking a bit low on health at the minute. 
Oh, bloody hell, it's the last boss! We don't have a whole lot of health to fight him with. I'll go on the right of the screen. Oh, man, I've... Bloody Reapers, there we go. It's Pete, anyway. It's Pete. I'm getting mauled. And yet, despite that, we won quite easily. <laughs> Oh, well, that's that's a scene to finish the game on. It seems that he's quite friendly after all. Oh, and that's it. We've left. Yeah, it was no big deal. Ah, there's all the characters that were mentioned on the opening credits. Yep, just turn around, make sure we all see your face, know exactly who you are. Ah, uh, the days of ending screen. You know, this is what ending sequences were all about in the 8 bit and 16 bit era. You completed a game, and this was the satisfying payoff. Yes, indeed. Thank you for playing. Even though we did have to replay it with big chunks of the game at one point. Indeed. Well, there you go, everybody. Uh, that was the first ever BP play. It, um, it was interesting. <laughs> I do not remember that. <laughs> okay. Well, that does in fact tell the story of the entire game for what it was like for Donald, for me. <laughs> oh, just one calamity after another. So, now with the credits, back to your Lego game designer, Emrin, who I have explained. That is, in fact... And right to left. Uh, Enrico Yamamoto. Uh, yeah, I think it was the same cast of Illusion as well, but it started going left from right. Yeah. So it's just the opposite end of what the start was. Yes, as you can see, a lot of these people are using pseudonyms rather than their entire name. Uh, I don't know why. It's a bit of a shame. Because it uh, has made, you know, unless it's been made of later reveal that they've done it, it's uh, made it tra difficult to track some of them down. It's nice to know who got, you know, who's involved with what games. Louis. So yes, that was our first BP with the Mega Drive Classic Co-op Experience, uh, World of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. Hopefully we will get better as we get more used to uh, having, I mean, I'm, I alone am quite new to the experience of having the microphone on while playing a game, and even more so with a cooperative partner who you did hear from very occasionally. So we'll see how it goes in the future. Nonetheless. Castle of Illusion, it's a classic game, definitely worth playing. No, World of Illusion, sorry, I said Castle of Illusion. So, World of Illusion, they're both worth playing, actually. Yep. Um, especially with the remake of Castle, well, say a remake, the reimagining of Castle Illusion coming soon. So enjoy that, and we shall see you around soon for episode two, which will be The Streets of Rage. Right on. Cheerio!